This week on Blood Brothers TV. I think a blood brother is anybody who hunts and fishes. You go into a sporting goods store and you, you know, you see a guy with a camo jacket on and back in the sporting goods gets to talking about coyote hunting or turkey hunting and you know immediately you got to bond with him. Start talking about calls and different things and he knows exactly what you're talking about. They do the same thing and so immediately you have a connection with them. So a draw, you know, for me is is I can, you know, I can recall a lot of things about hunts, but like I said, it's it's the small things in the hunt that you forget about or, you know, exactly what happened after the shot. A lot of times it's a rush of emotion for whoever's doing the hunting. You know, even even the camera guy, you, you know, you can replay that again and and really slow down and, and watch the footage and, and really get to enjoy every aspect of that hunt. Cherokee Sports presents Blood Brothers, an ancestral bond between like-minded individuals that share one passion. TV. Share your passion. Guys, if you've been following the last few weeks of Blood Brothers TV and our turkey episodes, we want you to be successful like we are. The reason that our crews continually get what they get is because of the realism and the motion of the decoys. I'm Brett Fulcher with Cherokee Sports, and I hope you guys enjoy today's show. Yeah, I'm, I'm tighter with people that uh, share the same kind of passions I do and, and outdoor activities, you know. Doesn't matter what walk of life they come from, because immediately you have something in common, you know. I think a blood brother is, is somebody you, you know, you share the same activities with or same hobbies. Uh, somebody who bow hunts, I can immediately start talking to them about it. You know, if you see somebody buying a deer stand, you can, you can well, you've been seeing any, you know, and you can immediately have a conversation with them. You know, hunting, fishing, trapping, anything like that. And you immediately have a connection with that person. And, you know, I can't talk to somebody about tennis or golf or anything. I don't know anything about it. So, so hunting, I can immediately talk to somebody about. And to me, that's, that's kind of what a blood brother is. You know, somebody, somebody immediately you share a, a serious bond with. I grew up in Jackson, Missouri, uh, went to Jackson schools. I'm a roofing contractor now. The roofing's pretty good because you're outside all the time. I hate being indoors for more than five minutes. But I started hunting at a real young age. I remember my dad getting me my first single shot 410 Chris, Christmas Eve and we went out and shot it. He liked small game hunting when, when uh, he was younger and he kind of got out of hunting. You know, had several kids and business and everything. but. But I got into it, you know, real young. Actually, I started videoing. I remember videoing turkey and deer with uh, my mom's big, giant, huge VHS camera, you know, when I was like 10, 12, something like that. And ever since then, I just ate up with it. Bow hunting, you know, we do a lot major, major into bow hunting. Bow fishing, turkey hunting, deer hunting, 
trapping, any, anything in the outdoors pretty well, I do it. Blood Brothers TV will be right back. Welcome back to Blood Brothers TV. Being a roofing contractor, running your own business, you, it's a, more of a seasonal thing when you get hard winters. You get a lot of time off in the winter, a lot of time to deer hunt. And of course, then you're hard back at it in the spring, but I, I still take time off to turkey hunt, of course. I'm not sure what it is about the outdoors that, that draws me to it so much. Uh, I guess it's, it's pure, it's uh, the quietness of it, you know. What I get out of the outdoors, I can't put my finger on it. I know, I know sitting inside, I, I can't see a turkey strutting across the field, gobbling and chasing jakes around and can't see a big buck working a scrape, you know, or dog and does, you know, through the woods. And that's something you can't see inside. And, or a coyote busting across the field to a rabbit squealer or something like that. It's just something in the outdoors that fulfills me, you know, that uh, I wake up every morning, that's where I'd rather be. <laughs> when I'm working, I'm thinking about turkey hunting or shed hunting or, you know, whatever time of year it is. And as soon as I'm off, that's what I'm doing, you know. Everybody who hunts and, you know, turkey or deer hunts or bow hunts or duck hunts, whatever it is you do, they, they all have that same feeling to where, you know, they're thinking the same thing. I'm ready to get out of here and go, go duck hunting or turkey hunting or whatever it is. The thing about turkey hunting that really gets me going is, you know, you get out there early and you get to hear that bird gobbling. You're just waiting on that first goblin. But moving in on the bird, getting the decoys out and, you know, the first bird's pitching down and, him strutting over and running up and flogging the decoy, you know, that's just gets my heart going. I just, I love doing that. And I love, I love taking a lot of, I take a lot of people turkey hunting and, you know, you're watching kids killing their first birds and stuff and seeing how excited they get. And then for life, you've made a turkey hunter, you know, every year they're calling you wanting to go hunting and for long, you know, they're going on their own hunting and that's what it is for me. The ultimate goal, you know, is calling that bird in. You've, you've heard him gobble, he's hammering up on the roost, but ultimately, you're, you know, you're trying to call him in and, and get him in range. There's nothing like watching that bird strut in to, you know, your, your Cherokee decoys. And... You get there right before light, you got the birds roosted, sneak out in the field edge there, you know, 20 yards, put your Cherokee decoy out and wait for the show to start. Starts getting light and he's, he's gobbling, he pitches down, runs into the decoy. I mean, that, that's the ultimate thing, you know, to get him in, in range in close quarters like that. And... Billy Badax strikes again. Go get my bird. The outdoors have helped me to be a better person. I don't know where I'd be, you know, if I, if I didn't hunt or fish or spend as much time, you know, in the woods and out in the field as I do. And there's something about each type of hunting that does, you know, does something different for me, each one. And that kind of stuff is strong with me. And I'm Jerry Evans, and I am a blood brother. Blood Brothers TV will be right back.